why am I under here draining the oil? Some would say, oh, it's because you've run it in a little bit and you want to change the oil because it's good practice. No, this right here, leaky leaky, it's coming from right about here, which is, I believe, the crank seal. So, engine's gonna come out. <laughs> Fix the crank seal. I'm gonna redo the oil return anyway because I'm not happy with it. And um, yeah, drop it back in. Shouldn't take me long. It's uh, it all comes out fairly easy by now. It also makes sense why these uh, these drive shafts have been left off. I probably knew about it ages ago, but I forgot. <laughs> there. Anyway, drain the oil and uh, pull the engine out. Good shot. Right now it's out again. I've taken the sump off. I found the leak. It was uh, it's the main uh, one of the main end caps. Uh, it's the one. It's the one on the end. It's got a lot of sealant that sticks up the side. Uh, leaking it is what it is. It's out now anyway. Um, while it's out, I'm going to redo the oil return because the one that I had on there before was rubbish. <laughs> this one keeps leaking. As you can see with the amount of silicon I got over it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a hole. I'm going to thread the needle here to put this in, tap a hole and uh, there's a new oil return hole. So let's see how that goes. Okay, that worked. Bit of uh, PTFE thread tip on this and hopefully it won't leak. This is a BSP, um, sorry, MPT 
thread. So it is tapered, I believe. Yes. So, um, yeah, when as this goes in, it'll tighten up. nice seal hopefully I can see it's taken some of the thread tape off because the thread is higher over here um, but hopefully there's some thread tape in there we can have a look when we lift it up and take the sump back off that means now I can get rid of this rubbish no wonder it was leaking <laughs> that wasn't even tight Yeah, there's no thread left in there anyway. <laughs> so, that's the oil drain, hopefully fixed. Right, sorry for the exposure, but <laughs> hopefully you can see I've got a new seal, put a new seal in uh, this end cap, and the seal in there, right there, in properly. So now it's just time to put the sump back on and put the gearbox back on focus no this is the McGann <laughs> and uh, yeah gearbox back on and then put it back in the car seeing as my other sump has a hole in it right there now that is no use I've had to use the sump off the spare engine and this one definitely hasn't been in the dishwasher to clean it all out I promise <laughs> so we've got the uh, instant gasket we'll go around there just like we did on the lexus not that long ago and uh put the sun back on
there you go, engine out, leaks fixed, engine back in, all in one episode. We're back to where we were at the be at the end of last episode. <laughs> Having said that, I know I dropped the teaser on you last time, but uh, I got, got another teaser. Uh, we're still not finished, there's still more problems. Uh, so join me next episode to find out what the issues are. Um, hopefully I fix them by now, but you'll find all that out in the next episode. I'm actually quite happy with the way the engine is at the moment. There's actually no leaks on the floor. That McGann always leaves something on the floor, but now we've got nice dry floors. It's, it's great. It's, it's unheard of. So, yeah, I'm quite happy with the way the engine's sitting at the moment and the way there's nothing left on the floor. And it's starting to look like we can start thinking about taking it for mapping, taking it for MOT, etc., etc. Until then, um, thanks for watching. I uh, appreciate the, uh, the views. I know not everybody is as interested in the McGann as they are in the Focus, and even people seem to be losing interest in the Focus at the moment, but uh, it'll be back at some point, and we can start those videos back up again so you'll get some more uh, Flexus content. Uh, in the meantime, uh, thanks for the view. Uh, it all helps. Give the video a like if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss uh, updates on the Focus, updates on the McGann, and even updates on the Mercedes because I've started live streaming the... Uh, the fixing of this um, of this as well and if you can't get enough of my postings on youtube the channel's also got a presence on social media uh facebook instagram twitter uh, go and have a look over there subscribe follow whatever you're going to do on those uh, on those platforms to um to keep up to date and as i mentioned last week the channel now has uh membership so you can join on youtube don't have to go over to patreon but you can still go over to patreon and and, and help support the channel there as well uh, entirely up to you both same perks, uh, you get what you need. I've just opened up the option of YouTube for those who weren't comfortable with Patreon. So either way, if you want to support the channel, you've got Patreon, link up there. Uh, we've got YouTube memberships, link in the description. And there's no obligation, but if you want to join, help support the channel, it's greatly appreciated. You get your perks, you get, uh, you get that little bit extra. And those who are actually supporting the channel on Patreon currently and soon to be YouTube members, you actually know what color the focus is going. You've seen updates while it's been away for paint. Uh, and the rest of you are going to have to wait until I actually get it back. So if you're interested in that, please uh, think about supporting the channel. In the meantime, I'm just happy that the McGann is back up and running. And there's no more problems. <laughs>